Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I do apologize for the lack of videos since I started this channel. Um, but I'm here back with at least three new movie reviews of Nobody God Godzilla vs. Kong and Batman Soul of the Dragon. And that was a, that will be the particular the particular order that I'll be uh, reviewing these movies through, starting with this video, which is a new recent film. Which is a nobody directed by Alicia, directed by Alicia Nessinger, and um, what this movie is essentially about is about this home robbery situation, and the dad of the family, played by Bob Odenkirk, takes genuine notice of this, and he's like, "All right, I want this happen again. I'm kind of past my, my height of, of my life point in life, and I'm here to, you know, stabilize and protect my family." And what this movie essentially does really well, I'm just going to get this here because uh, this is basically of the same minds and the same writing process as the John Wick films. And what this movie does really well is establish the narrative, it helps understand the story, and what's at stake for the characters and why the method and the approach and the mindset of the characters and the way they are in this film. First off, Bob Odenkirk nails it. He's just a great addition to this film. He gives kind of like what they're currently doing because it's the same writers and producers of the people who've done the genre films. And it's like blatantly obvious in this film, but I can kind of, I can personally agree with that. Kind of like in the same tone or approach that Taxi Driver had a big effect on, to, on 2019's Joker. Like, it's kind of obvious, but I think it's done very, very well and respectably. And what I do think the movie does well is, as I said, establish the tone, the narrative, the motives and the understanding of the characters, and the psychology of why he's doing this. And the movie knows how to add such a smooth integration of the action, the acting, and the production that really makes it really stand out. This is the type of action thriller that we need right now. There's not too much on his brain, when it comes to philosophy or under, or anything like that, but what the movie does, as I said before, is establish a mood, the, the tone, the, the motives, the characters. And I do think it really does that to such an extent. And why I really enjoy this movie a lot, at least for me, is the understanding of that. The beginning is great. I do, th I do think structurally within the second act of the film, it's kind of just okay. As it kind of meanders towards its way towards, um, I don't you know if you heard that. That was my dad sneezing. Um, but I do think the movie really does well at establishing all these character growth and these, the, all these great character moments and these um, incredible dynamics that make the film feel actually much more engaging as much. As it tends for you to forgive it being such a copycat of the John films, but the action, the choreography, the setup, and the acting is all very good. I like the dynamics of Bob Kirk and his family, um, why he's had this vendetta, especially because you know they came into his own house and basically run amok through it. And he's like, "All right, now I'm pursuing you guys on the streets," and you know, balancing his Bob Odenkirk's character doing that while he's taking care of his dad, who's very much post retire who's definitely past his time of retirement played. And I'm, I mean, for me, like, this was a shock to see because I didn't knew, didn't know that he was in this film. Christopher Lloyd plays his dad, and I'm like, that's great because you know, you you know, Doc Brown's your dad. That's how, that's just awesome. He's just so it's just great to see him again because I haven't seen him in years. And just be told, and uh, he's just—he's such a good actor. He's—he's he's just such a warm presence in this film. And him and Bob Odenkirk when you see them together, I'm like, you can definitely buy that. You know, the age gap, the look, and how they be like father and son dynamic. This isn't like a Star Is Born where you—it's like oh, um, Brand, Bradley Cooper and oh god damn it, um. Um, the guy from Tombstone are like brothers. I'm like, no, there's a 16 year difference. No, you can buy the age gap between the two. And the movie has such a great, triumphant, s simple, sleazy, 
doesn't need much of his brain approach to for it to really become such a thrilling, fun action thrill ride, which is quite what I will say towards <clears throat> uh, Godzilla vs. Kong when I make that video. But I do think overall nobody is a very solid film. I do really like it a lot. As I said, it's not there's not too much on his mind. It's a bit too much of a parallel and or at least um copycatting a lot of what the John Wick movies have done right here. But I do think overall nobody is a very solid film and I'll give it a four out of five stars. And I'll, and I'll give the film a four and a five stars in my review. And overall, I really hope you everyone here really enjoyed my review. And stick around, as always, for my reviews of Godzilla vs. Kong and Batman Soul of the Dragon. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in those two reviews. Till then, cheers.